power of Christian unity is not found in our uniformity. And the goal is not the deletion of a beloved tradition. Unity is of the very essence because without it, the gospel is incredible. And they're saying, but you don't love one another, so we're not interested in this Jesus. Civil war which turns Catholic against Protestant. With demonization, which we've done a lot of, all actions become legitimate. How do you tell the difference between the differences that make a difference and the differences that don't make a difference? Because even in the differences, we can find out a better understanding of who we are as we all strive towards that authentic Christianity. And this cuts across denominational barriers. This is the work of the Spirit. Once the cat was out of the bag, that unity was a major component of what I was saying. The crowds went away. The money went away. My entire staff had to be laid off. We're not really entirely 100% sure what the mind of Jesus is about communion. It's tough to see her go up and, and receive the Eucharist without me. The one that I love the most is able to partake when I'm not. We spent hundreds of years expecting you Protestants all to come back to Mother Church, and then we'd have units. Hurricane Harvey hit the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. Then we started seeing the water rising in our neighborhood. It didn't matter what church you went to. What mattered is that we were being the presence of Christ to one another. His Catholic organization doesn't care that I'm a Protestant. We're working together, trying to join God in the loving and healing of the world. To have these Protestant ministers gather along the border with Catholics and other churches is a very powerful symbol. Can I envision a day of unity? In a certain way, I'm theologically obligated to envision it because Christ prayed for it. Spent a day with Pope Francis, and within half an hour of our conversation, he simply said, he said, Jeff, you're a follower of Jesus. I'm a follower of Jesus. I just want to be friends. Common ground abounds, and we should seize it together.